What's up guys, of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, the Disc Islander, and today we're going up against the Dragon Factor. And we actually gone against one another before, last time got really stalled for the both of us, because we didn't really had it kind of brawn to break each other's team. And the, the walls from that team is actually making a comeback. Uh, he had a warmer than a Weezing last time, and I had a... Uh, no, wait, he had Dusk Clubs and Weezing last time, and I had a warmer than. And they're making a return of this battle, so they are definitely meeting each other one, <laughs> once again. And I thought that was kind of cool, actually. And looking for his team, we've got Vivian, Water Dusk Club, Swinehander, Weezing, and of course a Sork. And I am prepared for Sork, don't worry, guys. I am... My body is ready for it. I myself using Shellgun, Tropius, like I said, Warmadan, Choice Banded Pharaoh, Barbarical, and Power Herb Magmortar. And just looking through his team here, and the thing that really stands out that's gonna be troll for me is the two Pokemon. So this is Walls that can provide a Will O Wisp. Will O Wisp is a super annoying move because, of course, it shuts down my physical oriented Pokemon. And I only got four physical Pokemon this battle, so they can't really enter. At least not in the fashion I want them to, and that is gonna be really bad. And um, besides that, Magmortar is gonna do the major work here. If I lose Magmortar early, I'm going, going to struggle quite a bit, and uh, I really need my mortar to deal with his uh, walls here, because I think that's the only one that kind of can break through. Um, so anyway, with all of this in mind, of course, guys, let's go. So right, going into the game, I was predicting the Vivillion to come in, so I'm just going to start with my shell gun because I got an overcoat with protection from the powder moves, and um, I'll say that's not such a bad idea, but the issue is he's going to start with the Sork, and well... I am super super defensive, so I can deal with this kind of damage, not well honestly, but you know, well enough, and of course losing my Violet is kind of tough, but I still have 100 base defenses, so yeah, that's kind of intimidating no matter how we hit it. So anyway, we're gonna go for free Dragon Dance and then retaliate with Dragon Claw. I was really hoping for him to stay in, but it's gonna go to Weezing. So first of all, I was thinking here that, wow, I did a good chunk of damage, and then it was like, of course a crit, and uh, yeah gonna say that the warning signs kinda come there that yeah I kinda need to get out of here kinda need to and I'm gonna split your sulfur predicting the will-o-wisp and he's just gonna go straight off the pain split and um, yeah that was that was unexpected that was really unexpected and of course um, there is not a whole lot of HP we're gonna share with one another and I have to go for the stab move just making some kind of damage he's gonna go to his clock and this is of course the um, magic Pokemon is called Dust Clubs that um, honestly honestly can deal with me he's gonna frisk my power herb so that is kinda bad because that will probably tell him what set I am and at this point I was going to Astral basically uh, I knew that I cannot deal with this Pokemon I'm not here to you know take a will with me like that but more in that fashion that I can recover in some fashion plus I can toxic that Pokemon and I can set, set up Stealth Rocks. And since he met my Wormadan before, he knows I have the Toxic. So I knew as long as Weezing was around, I was not gonna do that play. I was basically risking it, hoping to get up Stealth Rocks, because if I had Stealth Rocks up, that means I break the sturdy of the Sork, and it also means that I break the freaking, freaking Vivlion in half because of the Stealth Rocks. But anyway, he just go for Sludge Room, predicting the switch out, and it's gonna score a crit and get the Poison on Sulfur. And that is just the worst. And you know why? Because my my mo my law my my mortar is the only thing really really dealing with Weezing. And I knew that, and that thing made me very very stressed out. And he's gonna now switch into LOL, and that is gonna be of course a world turtle. And I had a decision to make here: either you know risking the flamethrower and then going for solar beam, trying to take him out and uh, by that going down for the poison but at least it doesn't get the rapid spin off so i decided to do so that okay at least i get the rocks here to say so i'm fine with this i should just do it and well guys this is just one of those things where the rng is not in your favor he will survive with one hp of course and it's gonna pull up the rapid spin and the poison will take me out and um, yeah now, now things are getting started because now I have no response for Weezing anymore. The stuff is out of the way, which means that his Sash and attack them both Sock and Sturdy or Sock and Vivillion. And, um, yeah, shit. 
this is of course not good. I'm gonna go for a choice banded U-turn because there is nothing really fair I can do. I can't risk the double edge as long as the dust slope is around. And of course I'm not doing any damage there. And basically right now I'm basically face palming. And Crombius is probably the only response, and these guys are gonna fend off one another a few times. Uh, I have a special set Crombius that is uh, just as evil as a physical set, but I have to speed this up because they can't do anything against one another. I can only see it in Air Slash and flinch him, and he's only attacking with Sludge Bomb, and it does roughly one fourth, a bit, little bit over, uh, roughly 20%. And um, yeah, I can basically stall him out. Of course, you can do the same with Pain Split. So I knew that this was a matchup that was never going to end. So I took the time here to actually, before he set up another layer of Toxic Spikes, to actually go for a. Uh... Ooh, we clicked. Oh, sorry for y'all guys. Um, just go for Stealth Rocks. I saw this on Gold Golden Opportunity. If you pack the Slave Forward, so be it. And um, like I said, there is really the only thing I can do because I was really, really hoping that I can get a self rocks before the Wartel comes in because I kill the Wartel on the switch, and if that's the case, um, should probably have fought a few steps further than that because he is definitely thinking about that and uh, he's gonna switch in his Wartel, of course. And um, yeah, I basically waste my self rocks right there. That's such a such a solid move. But like I said, the reason I decided to go into Wormadan was basically because he set up Toxic Spikes. I don't want my Wormadan to be badly toxic. I can deal with just poison. And um, here's the Rapid Spin. Of course, this is going to take away the Stealth Rocks. It's not going to do like, a lot of damage, if any damage at all. And I'm going to finish it off with Earthquake. And we're back to square one. And that thing was supposed to die from a Solar Beam ago. And that's really bad. I can't deny that fact. That is super annoying that that Wartel survived so long into this battle and actually hindered whatever was going my way. And um, this time it's gonna go to Mashamaru. And uh, this, of course, is the Sork. And he's gonna just go for close combat. I did not expect that because there's resisted move. I think my opponent forgot about the Typhon. He should definitely go for an Ice Punch. But hell, I don't care because I at least get a Stealth Rose. I knew I could take one of those moves. And then I could switch out, but being that they went for close combat, I am actually free here to go for an earthquake. And I was thinking that he may or may not debating whether or not he should go for an attacking move yet again. But he's gonna keep going for close combat, and that puts me in a good range of HP. What I mean by that is that I really need to time my opponent here, and I need to save this um, Warmadan because the only way I can deal with Weezing now, and my response actually came for this situation was that now that I'm in such a low HP that if he goes for Pain Split with his either Dust Clubs or his Weezing I can kinda go in, I have to predict the Pain Split but then I have to pull that stunt off and see if I can come around from that so anyway, go and go to Trombius because Trombius really really wants this guy there is no way for him to kinda deal with um, Trombius because well Close Combat will do roughly, I think that's 25% and now the Citrus will kick in and uh, yeah, we are back to square one because Tropius is just such an awesome Pokemon what a champ, what a monster, what a beast and of course the Horus, like I said, will kick in and he's gonna switch out and go into his Weezing and I'm gonna speed up things again because this is the matchup they they can't really do anything against one another it is that simple and um, I basically needed to get my lead seed going and then from there trying to work it out he's gonna go for the last layer of Toxic Spikes which means that now everything that's gonna come in is badly poisoned and um, yeah basically I just needed him in a low amount of HP so he felt forced to go for a... Uh, what do you call it? Um, sorry to go for a pain split and try to recover and uh, this was definitely that situation he is in a very very low amount of HP uh, my citrus will kick in which means I can't go in a lot of HP and uh, basically here I was hoping and praying that he would go for um, the pain split. If he didn't go for it, I'd still have one more play in me with Pharaoh that could have taken him out from there. But he goes for pain split, which of course will bring the Warmadan not back to speed, not even close really. But um, definitely contrast what I have to get, get a decision for. Um, the lead seed will definitely help. I mean, I'm basically from 14, I went to 50 ish HP and that is I can deal with that 
and I decided here, I think, to be one of those assholes that's go for protect. I was really hoping the leech would take him out from this rage, I thought that that was my safest play, really. He's gonna go for a sludge bomb, and of course, with the sludge ship, black sludge, this guy will fight another day, or rather, he will survive the next round of leeches. And, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's kinda bad, like, that is definitely something I wasn't hoping for, because that is, you know, he has a low amount of HP, he just isn't that low. And I am forced here to take a sludge bomb. I'm glad my opponent did not have flamethrower. If he had that, I would have not had issues. So I'm glad it was Toxic Spike. So anyway, the sludge bomb will not take me out. And Black is gonna recover first. And then the leech is gonna finish him. Which is awesome. So he's getting even more HP, which means I probably can survive something more. Maybe. You know what? Wormadan did its job. We got up the stealth rock. Eventually, after the third time, we got we got this rocks to stay. And um, he can now deal with wheezing and falter in all, well, feeling safer. The Worm did a great job, I'm super proud of it. So Hidora is gonna call him the Swinehander in gym. Yeah, I I'm not switching out on this. Uh, the Hustle Outrage is just too powerful and I have to make this guy fall, there is just no way. And um, I know I can now split it with Pharaoh and go for a U-turn. A U-turn should be more than enough, so Riffiel is gonna come in yet again has yet to go for a powerful double edge because I can't do it. I just, I can't. Dusclub is still around and Dusclub is still super, super annoying. I have one more badass wall to deal with. And even though my opponent only got two Pokemon left, that is the Sork and um, yeah, the Dusclubs, I knew that I didn't really have any real place left in me. So I kinda, kinda had to find a way to come back. And he's just gonna bring his uh, Mashahara this time. And I knew I could take a hit here and then retaliate, but I didn't know how well. An ice punch will show to be, well, you know, it's still like 50%, so it's a good hit. But of course, it is not enough, and Sok will fall. So he has, oh, I'm sorry, I think he got one more. Oh yeah, he got the Vivlion left too. We got Vivlion and Dusk Club left, and uh, honestly, there is nothing I can do here. He has Pain Split. And he, of course, he has the monster move that is uh, Shadow Snake. And I was thinking they could have Nightshade, but Shadow Snake was the move he decided to go with. It won't take me out because I am still, you know, 100 base at the defenses even without the Eye of Eyelight. Uh, but the Crunch just really doesn't do enough. And I really felt that, you know, that oof, I should definitely have done more. Because, like I said, I have no strong enough move to kind of deal with that. I knew that going in here. So I decided to go for Lead Seed because I know he's going to go for a Pain Split no matter what happens from this range. And basically I'm going to try to do what my Warmer then did to Weezing and um, stall this out. Like I said, there is not the safest response. I would go so far and say that this is probably the worst kind of play you can make. But it's, we don't have anything against one another's wall. And it's very interesting to see a battle like that where the, the, wall co the walling comes from, um, from the walls. and. Uh, the offenses come from the walls too, which means that we are in a um, stalout. And I, of course, will win this stalout due to me being able to flinch him. So while my airside is not doing a whole lot, my opponent just say, Fuck it, I'll go for curse, deal with it. I'm going down, I'm gonna take you with me. And uh, I, I can't be mad about that. I think that's a great, great way of, you know, speed things up. And of course, like I said there, the last Pokemon he got packing is the monster that is the Vivlion. And uh, due to the hazard being up, I don't have to worry about Quaver Dance or the Focus Sash. And uh, basically here, I'm, I must hope that he missed the Hurricane Dad. That is probably the only thing I kind of risk that, you know, this must happen. Please let that happen. But no, he will strike the Hurricane, of course. But luckily for me, I do have Pharaoh. And Pharaoh just outspeed naturally. And since he didn't get any Quaver Dance up, I am free to go for Rithiel and finally, finally go for that perfect double edge which I've been waiting for so long to use. Finally that thing is gonna go down and that is GG. So the Dragon Factor, you know, definitely man, good game. Um, yet again we got this, you know, really really stolly battle and um, it's kinda tough to deal with a player that knows how to, you know, void off opponent properly and you know, I tried to do the same. And eventually I did come out on top, but I don't know if it was really fair that I did.
So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this battle. Like I said, the Dragon Factor played a very mighty game this time, and um, me coming down on top was not. It was well. It wasn't until the Warmadan combo with um, I guess Weezing kind of pawned out. If it didn't do that, I don't know if I ever could have got the chance to stop the Weezing because Will o Wisp is super super annoying to deal with. And me not having any more special attackers that could void him off properly made things way more interesting than it should have been. And um, yeah, I I don't feel that I should have won because of that. Because he played a much better game than I did. And me, um, yeah, I came out on top just by chance and, you know, of, of taking a very high risk there. And of course, Tropius coming through. Hey, what a champ. That Pokemon, what, what a unique Pokemon. People should definitely use it more often. I love it. I think it's a great Pokemon, and uh, yeah, I, I really need to bring these guys back. They are just so cool. Both the physical set and the special set are freaking powerful. I love them. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Of course, as always, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to push on that subscribe button. It's a very nice button now, isn't it? And of course, guys, remember, the sky's limit. So have a good day, guys, and take care, alright? Bye.